<laughs> That's a clip from Ronnie Chang, international student, uh, co co creator and writer um, of this Australian comedy series uh, you can find on ABC. And he's here. That gives us an interesting insight in the life and culture of, um, I guess, Chinese <laughs> Americans, right? I love it. Yeah, yeah, uh, love it. yeah more like a uh, Chinese I mean, people from Asia. China, Chinese <laughs> people from Asia. Yeah, yeah. Which shouldn't be confused with Chinese, Chinese people Ameri in America. America. Yeah, two different two different cultures. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, same same uh, origin origin spot, but different yeah. cultures. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me on the show. Ronnie Chang's here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. I appreciate it. Ronnie, yeah. what's good, baby? Yo, yo. Thanks so much. So hair. excited to be here. This place is, this is killer. This I'm such a big fan of you guys. Man, thank you, man. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of you as well, man. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Man, since I, I, I used to I used to live in Singapore, I used to live in Australia, uh -huh. always watch oh, wow. the YouTube channel. Dude, uh -huh. I love the you know, the Kanye thing. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, you ain't got the answer, Sway. Oh, come on, Ronnie. You ain't got the answer, oh, Sway. Man. I've been waiting five years to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I love the I, I, I discovered Jadena on your on your freestyle um, uh, your series uh, Kendrick was on your freestyle I love the uh, Charles Gambino uh -huh. freestyle was crazy at one point halfway through a freestyle he starts talking yeah yeah, and yeah. he goes back into it yeah, yeah. I'm like is this like I've never seen anyone do that anyway it was crazy I no, love what no, you guys no, do thanks for thanks for putting that stuff out there thank you because man because it's it's the source honestly I don't think you guys know how much outside of America people watch this to. Watch cool hip hop, yeah, and just watch you know perspectives like that, yeah. So Ronnie, we've been trying to get Sway to have us like travel internationally to bring the radio oh, show. This. Should we go to Singapore? Where? You should, should we go. go? Singapore. You should go. You should go. If, uh, uh, let me plan, plan your tour for okay. you. Thank so you. first, go to go to London. That's the nearest stop. Go London first. Okay, okay. London. Okay, we can do London. All right, then, London. DJ yeah. Wonder. Then go go Hong Kong. Okay, great. Then go Singapore. Uh huh. Then end in Australia. And then Australia. Yeah. Ooh. Because the white, the white women will love us down there, right? Yeah, dude, you'll be surprised. Everyone loves you. Everybody really? loves you. Really? Nobody, only Kanye West did not like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone else loves you. And even then, you guys made up at the end. I thought that was a nice moment. Yo, you're the, the only person that mentions that <laughs> right. in that whole... Ex that's the first time Yeah, because so I know. I'm not fake news, man. I that's know. Not yeah. not <laughs> people <laughs> people were writing these clickbait headlines. Yeah. Sway beef with Kanye. You guys made up at the end. Because you guys are gentlemen. Yes. You, you argue, you have disagreements, and you make up at the end. It was cool. It was cool to see, yeah. It was also cool to see someone yell at Kanye West. I was like, wow, that's... Yeah. So I was you guys don't mess around. So he was like, I'll turn all this shit off. <laughs> I saw, yeah. I saw that. I'll turn all this fucking shit off. You know, go, go, go. And then, uh, man, it was like, I, I, I can't believe the, the like, um, and Kanye West at the peak of his anger. <laughs> and you were like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yo, yes, Ronnie. Someone give that guy some clothing lines, please. It'll make him less angry. If he just makes, thank God he made the shoe. That made him so much less angry. Yeah. He was so angry at not being able to make shoes. Nice shoe. I've never seen Mimo. In Asia, we make shoes all the time. Time. Everyone's very unhappy. <laughs> this dude could not was so mad at not being able to make shoes. Give this guy a shoe. Thank God. Thank you, Adidas, for giving him a shoe. Line. You spared the world. I couldn't take another couple like six months of him complaining about not being able to make shoes. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking in tears. <laughs> <laughs> We've oh, never man. gotten an international perspective of it. Yeah. This yeah. is amazing, Ronnie. Yeah, Thank have you. you. Have you ever had Asians on the show? That's not accusation. It's a genuine question. <laughs> Are he about have to start boycotting? <laughs> no, no. All right, what no, happened? No, we, I'm curious. We, we've had people of Asian descent Asa on the show. Kira. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you bring up? <laughs> no, who, you know who that is? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> We had the lady who did our list. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh was Sandra just on the show. On? Yeah. Yes. Um, 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 then, uh, on the comedian. Um, um, Sandra but you who know, won I, the finger in the butt. The one, Sandra, the the Margaret Chow. Mar Margaret Chow. I mean, we've had plenty. Why are we okay. trying to name that? Age? Don't don't fall the, for this. The okay, finger sorry. in the butt one. Yeah, that was the last one. All right. <laughs> Happy to follow we that. We named a porn star. Yeah. We know, you know. Well, that's the thing. You know, I like I spent so I. Uh, Jin, Jin's been on the show. Jin, oh, MC Jin. MC Jin. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Um. He, so well, yeah, I spent. So I only I only moved to America two years ago. So before that, I was in Australia for ten years. Before that, I was in Malaysia for ten years. Wow. Uh, and Singapore, Where, you know, Singapore and Malaysia is like Jersey, New York, like it's just a bridge away. Um, and uh, America exports so much culture around the world. Like mm. I don't think people understand. And uh, African American culture, or can I say black? Can I say black people? Black people, go, go, black okay. yeah. you black people clear, clear. Are, are such a big part of American culture. I don't think you guys know mm. how much you export. Uh -huh. How much of your stuff they explore around the world, yeah. you know? And I think hip hop right now is going through this real kind of peak mm -hmm. in 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 pop culture, having a real moment. And you know, it's 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 something which I think you can you you speak 
to a lot of people about. You know, yeah. 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 Well, well, you know, Kendrick mm-hmm. recently went in the Pulitzer Surprise. Yeah. Jay Z re- went in a uh, Peabody Award. You know, it's uh, the music of all times. It's our music, really time. music of all times. So, uh, in, in regards to that, who were yeah. some of your biggest influences uh, as far as getting into comedy? You know, whether it was a specific comedian or certain movies. Yeah. Uh, so it was. Um, I when when I was a kid, my my parents went to college very late in their late thirties. So they went to college after they had two kids, and so they're the, a Malaysian family, and they came to America for college. So I I came here when I was like three years old. And I left when I was like seven. I was a good immigrant. I came in and I left. That's the immigrants that leave. Well, the immigrants that leave. Ronnie Chang, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We are America's favorite immigrants. We come and we get the fuck out. And, um, uh, (laughs) but while, while, yeah, while I was here, uh, we would watch Seinfeld. You know, th- this is late '80s, early '90s, and Seinfeld will come on. And then at the end of some episodes, you do stand up at the end. Mm-hmm. You know, and then we'd be like, "Oh man, that's awesome!" I tell my mom like, "That's awesome! I want to do that someday." And she's like, "Yeah, okay, whatever that means." And then, <laughs> you know, and then, uh, well, and to be fair, I didn't do it for like 20 years. I was like four years old. And then 20 years later, I I I I, 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 did, I started doing comedy in Australia. That's so, why I started. So so who paid? Because you actually went to school for a law degree. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Who paid for that? My my, my parents paid for it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and that's. And it, that's and it, and that's Asian. That's how Asians do it, man. And, and, yeah. then, and then you turned around and became a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Man, it's on. fucked up. Yeah. So you're you know. an attorney? Or you? Uh, I, I, I'm called to the bar in the country of Australia, and uh, I, I went to law school in Australia. I passed the bar in Australia. Uh, I took the bar in New York, and I failed. So there you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. your, your wife. My wife passed it in, in uh, first try. First try. Yeah. Ooh. So we know who's the smart one yeah. in the family. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Management. Okay, yeah, Roddy, yeah. I have to bring up, there's been much chatter, whispers about uh-huh. the Asian male's performance in bed. Okay. You yeah. or your wife, care to defend <laughs> or confirm? Yeah, I don't know. what. <laughs> Hannah, how, you, how am Hannah, I doing? Hannah, you want to get on the mic? <laughs> 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 you said two thumbs up. How is he doing, Hannah? <laughs> yeah, two thumbs up. Two, two thumbs up. Which, which in Asia means bad. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. This, I think Asian masculinity is an interesting issue. I think mm-hmm. in America, um, for some reason... In pop culture, like uh, I, I feel like Asians aren't allowed. Asian men aren't allowed to be masculine in pop culture in general. Mm. In the same way, like it's almost a uh, like a, a, a awful, awful uh, showbiz stereotype. So, yeah. for example, whenever there's males in 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 the on the rare occasion you see an Asian man uh, in American movies or television shows, they they, they always have to be kind of. Uh, feminine or like they almost make them non-threatening to the other wh- white male leads right. you, you can't be the yeah. dominant for That's, some reason you can't be the I know dominant you're gonna go you're gonna yeah. say what about bruce lee jackie chan bruce lee was the last one bruce lee was the last one bruce lee was the last asian dude who everyone looked up to and was like this guy's a badass and they looked out for, for being a badass but initially he came in hollywood as kato kato yeah, yeah so he was a subordinate to yeah. a, a, a white uh lead right yeah, but yeah. after that then Jackie Chan had to take the humor route. Right, exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Jackie Chan's a goofy guy, yeah. He, he took the humor route when he came here because he was respected when he started. He was doing his own stunts. He was a major star before yeah. he came to America. And then he kind of had to work his way up. Into- yeah, but even in Asia, Jackie Chan movies were always, he was always the good guy ass kicker. Like okay. the, almost an unwilling ass kicker. Bruce Lee was the badass that you didn't want to touch, and he was the last one in um, in Western culture to be the badass that everyone looked up to. And there's been no kind of for some reason like not even Jet Li. Jet Li, um, I guess yeah, but was is he as looked up? Is he as uh, popular as that, Bruce yeah, Lee? I mean, no, I don't no. want to throw well, no, shade at no, no, Jet no, Li, no, but no. Yeah. he no. could probably kick my ass immediately. But <laughs> in seconds, yeah. <laughs> Jet Li is so fast that he had to slow down for cameras right. because he was too fast. Like his stuff wow. was yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, he had it's to true. slow it down, and he yeah. made his it's, one. It's, it's, hit, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, what was that last movie he made that he, uh, he was in his forties and he was like, I don't think. Uh, I'm I'm aging out of my physical ability. I have to make one last movie that at where I'm at. My you know I I, I don't hold back, and I can't remember the name of that. Uh, Ooh, yeah. League of Gods, Expendables no, no, Three. No, no. no, it's not Expendables. <laughs> it definitely was not Expendables Three. Um, Romeo uh, Must Die. Yeah, it was oh, a no. Chinese movie where he played <laughs> he played the the teacher of uh, you know in the Bruce Lee movie where uh, Bruce Lee's crying over the the grave. Yeah, he plays that guy who died. As in he the anyway. Oh yeah. oh oh. Uh, uh, Look that up. The one, the, the guy. Well, well, I think it's Wong Fei Hong. Fearless? I think it's 
Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, that was, that was 2006. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was a while ago. So he I and mean, even then he wasn't as fast as he was when he was yeah, younger. But he yeah. was faster. Than, you could change the stereotype, Ronnie. Change. Yeah, be a complete badass. And just, it could be you. You could yeah. be the you know the, the poster <laughs> child for you know aging masculinity hey, in America. You know, yeah, we're joking around, but I mean it's true. Someone need so like uh, I'm I'm hoping through comedy and the television show I'm doing and this movie that's coming out, Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, we kind of change the narrative a bit of um it, you know not just Asian men but Asian people in general being like mm-hmm. weak or like submissive or uh-huh. or for whatever reason um le- less uh, less dominant in in uh society than other races for like some always reason. the nerdy yeah. people yeah like always the nerdy people yeah it's yeah. called crazy rich crazy rich asians is coming out in uh, august 17th <laughs> yeah. it looks har- it looks hilarious oh thanks though. so much yeah yeah man uh well congratulations on your thanks work so much. yeah thanks so much yeah can, can you join us for something we do well by the way hold up hold yeah, up yeah, you yeah, performing yeah. tonight <laughs> do you want me to freestyle yeah <laughs> Get to be ready. Uh, no, 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 Get to no. be ready. Don't play around here. There you go. Uh, perform tonight at Caroline's at 7.30 and 10 p.m. Make sure you get tickets. It's Saturday at 7.30 and 10 p.m. He's coming Ronnie right Chang. before me. Okay, right before DB show, Woo! you're going to see Ronnie Chang. You got it, Ronnie? Yo. Home Yo. of the hyenas. Yo. Let's go. Yo. Let's go. Yo, we down in Caroline's Friday and Saturday night, 7.30, 10 p.m. Check it out. <laughs> I can't rhyme. That's why I leave it to the pros like Sway. Yo. All right, let's get into that celebrity wire, guys. <laughs> you know you love celebrity drama. Don't, don't ask me a question like that. I'm not going to, I'm not biting. A special. Oh, Here we go. On Shade 45. All right, Ronnie Chang is going to join us for the special edition of Celebrity Wire. Tracy, what's in the news? All right, Ronnie, I'm not sure how closely you've been following Usher's personal life, but I'm here to give you an update just in case you haven't. So, Usher. Last year, he was all in the news for reportedly giving multiple women herpes. Now, this one woman who really entered the spotlight for a while, her name is Quantasia Sharpton. So, Quantasia, <laughs> she said that. <laughs> Ronnie just cracking up. Uh huh. <laughs> that's her name on all her papers. No, he's laughing at the herpes. <laughs> oh. No, I'm laughing at it. Still, it's not as, it doesn't sound as bad as R. Kelly's love life. But anyway. Oh, yeah. damn. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we can get into that if you want to. But really quick on Usher. So, yeah, this woman said that he exposed her to herpes during a sexual encounter um, after she went to his show over in Atlantic City. Now, to bring you up to date, 420 is being reported that Usher doesn't want any of us to know the details. So, he actually had his lawyer file a motion to ask the judge to seal this case now initially he denied that this even took place mm-hmm. okay but now he wants the the details of the story to mm-hmm. be sealed okay what does that indicate to you um I, that he has herpes <laughs> right <laughs> not, not not necessary i just thought you know i always take the high road by the okay. way I, I felt like you know, no matter what comes out of it he's still going to be affiliated to that yeah, story what's coming isn't. out of it is herpes oh, no, 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 no. herpes <laughs> is coming out of his dick <laughs> oh, no, 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 and he no, needs no, to no, seal no, that up yeah no, 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 i get it yeah. no, no, i'm just saying the headlines <laughs> you know oh, okay, yeah. way. he huh? knows yeah. if, if your client comes to you and says let's seal this something uh-huh. in there right you can study laws there's something in there again herpes okay all right but next story tracy next story man okay this will be good to get your thoughts on Roddy. so um all right we have kevin hart's ex Tory Hart. Oh, I know all about this. My my office roommate is Roy Wood Jr. He he he's my gateway into Black America. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Wonderful. Yeah. So okay. you're in the mix with this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, Tory Hart, she has gone like on a rampage, even yeah. on social media, using it to paint a Nico Hart, Kevin's new wife, um, as a homewrecker, as okay. a mistress. Said that there was a lot of overlapping in their relationship. Mm-hmm. However, now in present time, she just did an interview talking about how she's a okay. Thumbs up to the side chick. Listen to this. You know, honestly. And I've never even said this out loud or publicly, but I kind of like the, the the Muslim faith. You know, I think, you know, if you can afford her, then you should have another wife or have extra. I just think people should be more upfront. Um, if you're going to do it, I just men need to start just being men and say, look, this is what I'm going to do. OK, either you're going to deal with it or you're not. And I think. Most women will probably deal with it. What do you, what do you think about that, Ronnie Chang? About uh, having a side a side chick? Like you think you, Hannah? You, you, <laughs> I was what, gonna what, say what, my what, wife is right here, so I'm just gonna be a man about it and tell her, uh, yeah, is it okay if I get get a second wife? No. <laughs> <laughs> that settles that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. She it doesn't even sound like she's speaking about herself. It sounds like she's talking about people in general. Like she's yeah. like anyone out there who wants to have side chicks and. Fuck around, just be upfront about it, and uh-huh. uh, I don't know. I don't know if anyone like 
she's making it sound like it's it, it's just a matter of being honest. Yeah. Like, mm. No, no, it's not just being honest. The 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 woman has to be okay with it as well. Uh-huh. It's not just a you can't just walk in a room and be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have like two wives yeah. today. So so yeah. so, but it's not so far fetched though if the woman's okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I mean, it's weird to be progressive and for for you know different race, cultures, and religions, and then not be for someone who wants to f- have multiple wives. You were gonna say yeah. fuck. Right I was there, gonna say fuck right there, but then I remember as I was on sway in the morning. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. swear, but I don't know. I, man, I don't even know what to. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that story. Like, uh, next okay, week, next time don't bring yeah. Hannah. And then yeah, you be able to <laughs> it just so happens my wife is in on it, so <laughs> just be out front, right? Right, Hannah, just be out front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. So, well, how would you feel if Hannah wanted uh, a side guy? Man, right. you were asking all the tough questions <laughs> today. <laughs> These are really important well, things. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, okay. Let's just break up the marriage right now. No, then. No. You want to? <laughs> so you have a side guy. I'll have a side woman, and then no, no. It's not, yeah. Okay, okay. Talk about it later. Okay, good, good, yeah. good. Ronnie Peace. Chang, you see the you see the neck he sweat. <laughs> His ears got hot over. Yeah, here. I know. I'm saying you already swing me out here. I don't know. What you mean. Oh. <laughs> All right, Tracy G, thank you for that celebrity wire, of man. Of course. Ronnie, thank you for coming through, Ronnie! man. Thanks, You're thanks, guys. Hilarious, dude. You- this is a real honor to be here. Honestly, oh, everyone back home is going to be crazy. I got on the Swing in the Morning show. They can't believe it. No one can believe it. Wow, thank you, man. Little Chinese guy got on uh, the Swing in the Morning show. Yeah, man. I got to freestyle badly, but, but it still counts. Yo, you're definitely not a hyena. Uh, <laughs> you're more like a carp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get I'll take that, it, that, dude. That. I'll take it. <laughs> wow. All right, we want to thank our guests, all our other guests for coming by today. Uh, King Henry, the producer, King Henry. You can follow. Follow him at KNG Henry um, IV. Also, Phase One, the MC. You can follow him at Phase One Music and Star Smiles. You can follow her at Star Smiles with a Z at the end. Alex Rich for coming through. He's yes. in the new Picasso, Genius Picasso series, along with the legendary Antonio Banderas. Woo. Wow. You know, you can find him. Uh, yes, go ahead. The future. Oh, oh, I was oh, coming to that. Yeah. was going to be my last Finale. guy. Okay, All right. So and then also, man, our now good friend, Ronnie Chang, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. He's performing tonight, 7 30, 10 p.m. Tomorrow night, 7 30, 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. at Caroline's. Caroline. And then right Woo. after he gets off the stage, DB takes over. The 12 midnight will also be there. And uh, if you if you got your tickets, then make sure you show up at around 10 30, 11 o'clock. But come check out both shows. You can go get tickets at carolines.com mm-hmm. or go to my social media for our tickets to the 12 midnight. Ronnie Chang, if people want to reach you on social media, how can they hit you directly, bro? Uh, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Chang, at Ronnie Chang. That's R O R O N N Y C H I E N G. Ronnie Chang. Why is the I in there? Oh, they do. That's just how I spell it. That's okay. oh, yeah. okay. oh. It doesn't translate from Chinese characters. Oh, That's is that it. what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, wow. You want to reach OQ, you can at? Huh. OQ Shoots on Instagram. Yay! At, at, DJ, <laughs> at DJ Wonder on Instagram. DB. I just said everything. Uh, okay. Me too. I'm at the happy hour, WHB. All right, I'm at real sway across the board, and you'll be able to... Shout out my wife. I love my wife. I'm not thinking of getting a second wife. Let's just make that clear. We're going to have a talk afterwards about this. So thanks a lot, Sway. We appreciate that. (laughs) Silent ride home. You you look like you in trouble. I know. How many more followers do you need, Heather? I want that announcement this weekend. I'm not there yet, Tracy G. What? <laughs> Someone is Millie Rocking. Oh, no bad no, comedian. Vanessa Mitchell. Hold on, man. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, great. Another Mitchell comedian here. I know. It's like, <laughs> DB's a. <laughs> like, they got to share the mic. <laughs> Vanessa Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! hey! Yo, what, what up, up, brother? Hey, man. How you been, son? They almost tried to kick me out of here for touching yeah. Antonio Banderas. Damn. <laughs> Yo, did you whoa, see him? Whoa. Yeah, I saw him. I was like, oh, bro. And I thought I knew him, but I didn't even know him. But you went with it? Yeah, I went with it. I committed. <laughs> Did you feel a tingle when you hugged him? Ooh. I got a little goosebumps, man. Remember Desperado? The yeah. Movie? Yeah. Man, yeah, that's my movie right man. there. Why, that's my yeah. that's my Who's Your Caddy of Spanish movies right, right? there. Right. Well, I thought you was gonna come through. We, we just I said to come by. You know what? Sway's so classy. I said, Sway, I'm in town. I said, I want to come through. He said, Come through. And I said, Oh, that was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was so quick. <laughs> so to uh, know what actually happened, um. Uh, Irie was in town. DJ last. Irie, yeah. yep, uh-huh. I'm a big fan. Uh-huh. Uh, we go back way back from my Miami days, and um, I stayed out too late, and then I w- got unprofessional. <laughs> That's real. Damn. Okay. Um, so I'm being yeah, real with you. Give me you. some violin music. Dude. I know. Man, finesse Mitchell's mad irresponsible. <laughs>
Listen, my dude, uh, I just want to say thank you for always showing me love, son. I would have been here early, son, you know, but uh, I'm here now, and I just want to tap on the window. What you got going on real quick before we close the show? I'm at Gotham Comedy Club, people. Wait, um, when, tonight? Tonight. Two shows tonight, three shows Saturday, and I'm out. If y'all want to hear some anyone, comedy. Does anyone in this room not have a show going on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, he's at Caroline's. Ronnie Chang's at Caroline's. I love you tonight. Hawaii five, no, I'm You at Caroline's tonight? I'm at Caroline's uh, tonight. They didn't try to be nice. Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> man, he was stepping on my promo. I had to check him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Equal opportunity like checking he... going on. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham Comedy Club uh, yeah. tonight. I just shot my one-hour special. Congratulations. So, people, oh, if y'all want to see the one-hour special live, Come to Gotham, one of, one of my shows, and then one of Rotten shows. Hey, there you go. I like way. that. Share the love. Share the Appreciate love. You, All right. Always good. for Mitchell.com for tickets. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Symphony. All right, for that. Symphony. Symphony. Oh. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie is like, what next is time happening? No, next show? time I'll, I'll just come by, tap on the window, and just come in and promote my. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta, <laughs> that's why you, you got a Millie Rock. Those bookings and emails <laughs> and. For life. I guess just tap on the window. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you need to get on sway. I went, I I went to Caroline for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, All right. Ronnie, it's it's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, until uh, Monday, ladies and gentlemen, we have nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>